Welcome back to Daytime with Kimberly and Esteban. I'm Carla Salinas and today we'll be learning all about Dia de los Muertos at the Museum of South Texas History in Edinburgh. You are looking at the museum's mystery altar. Today, Programs and Events Officer at the Museum of South Texas History, René Ballesteros, told us all about it. So this is an altar, one that's typical of a family that would maybe make one at their house uh, when they're observing Dia de los Muertos. It's generally put up to honor loved ones who have passed and share their memories and it always comes around uh, the Dia de los Muertos uh, time, which is like October 31st, November 1st, and November 2nd. Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, is a celebration dedicated to remembering friends and family who have died. Fusion of the Catholic, Roman Catholic beliefs mixed with indigenous beliefs. And it's, nowadays it's very connected with Mexico, but anywhere that the Roman Catholic beliefs has gone around, it's almost been interpreted in a way. So there are some similarities, including visiting the grave sites, uh, cleaning those grave sites up, and even making at-home altares like this one behind me. And although death can be a somber topic, when it comes to Dia de los Muertos, it's all about bright colors and celebration. The bright colors and a lot of the elements on the altar, they're specific to sometimes to like the beliefs that the people will have. So that's why they differ in a lot of different places. But most often, uh, some of the ofrendas or the offerings that you'll find on the altar will include some of those person's favorite things, whether it be like their favorite music or food, or even if they have like a favorite type of beer, you'll see those kind of things put on. This altar, Rene explains, is also known as the mystery altar. And this is a mystery because we don't know who they are, but we definitely have these great photographs of people from our area. And we try and put them out so that people from our community can help us identify them. It makes us, it makes the history that we have a lot more richer and fuller as well. Although the museum has temporarily closed its doors due to the coronavirus pandemic, their virtual doors are wide open. And from October 25th through November 1st, you can join most history in their celebration of Dia de los Muertos online. And we're partnering with the city of Edinburgh this year to kind of make a two-week celebration of Dia de los Muertos. So you can check our website and, of course, our social media pages. We're going to be doing a lot of Facebook Live presentations, uh, including um, some authors and professors from the area. And we're also going to be presenting a digital altar exhibit. Uh, since we can't do it here in person, we're setting up a digital altar form where you can go in, submit an honorary a loved one, and we're gonna have a page that shows all of them. Hopefully that way we can have a, an altar exhibit that people can really go to and reflect on. So don't miss out. Be sure to check out the Museum of South Texas History's Facebook and website for more information on our upcoming programs. For more information, visit the Museum of South Texas History at mosthistory.org.